Hello, my dear friends. Today we're going to pick with you axle jump. We're going to talk now with you about single axle, double axle, triple axle. Also, I'm going to show you um, how I'm doing the double axle so you can see it exactly in the slow motion, how it looks like. And in the sections about the exercises for axle and um, the ways of how to go, I mean like the directions where we should go for the axle. You can also find more information. Now we're just going to talk with you about what is this kind of jump. This is the jump that we are going uh, from the backward spin, uh, from the backward speed, from the backward crossovers. Staying on our right leg and then going to our left and jump from our left to our right um, and landing backward. This is only the jump that we are doing from the forward. Because all the rest of the jump is toe loop, loop, sow, we are doing from the backward, as flip as lots. This is the only jump that we are doing from the forward uh, direction. And that's why it is one and a half turns, two and a half turns, and three and a half turns. It's not single, double, or triple. It's always two and a half, three and a half turns. Well, of course, most of you know this information, but anyway, I have to say about that. So. Uh, now I'm going to show you how it looks like and then we will go next. So guys, as you have seen on the video while I was doing this jump, I wasn't going and doing the jump directly straight. My arms was a little bit bended. And as you can see, my body position before the jump was leading inside of the circle. And what is most important, one of the most important moments, my body position before the jump wasn't leaning forward. I was trying to keep my shoulders and my back behind me. I, was, I, I had almost straight line from my knee to my shoulders. I wasn't like that. Why am I doing this? Because in all of the jumps we need to gain height. Because we need height to have more rotations up in the air and have more time in there. And if we have our chest in the front, we don't have opportunity to bring up our knee. But if my chest are in here, I have space to bring up my leg. The idea is, as higher you will bring up your hip and your knee, as higher jump you will have. What I mean, if you will bring your free leg only up to here, that's how high you're gonna jump. But if you're gonna jump to here, that's how high you will have your jump. In a section of exercises, we will talk with you a little bit more about the exercises for the uh, double axle. I'm going to show you how to gain the higher um, high for your jump. Now I would like to talk with you. We just uh, spoke with you about the chest, about the body position. Now I would like to talk with you about the arms, the movement of the arms. Arms in the axle, not going through your body in here. Also, they are not straight. They are a little bit bended. There's also two ways of jumping axle, single axle, double axle, triple axle. You can go with one shoulder while, you stay, while you're staying before the jump, and also you can go with the open shoulders while you go in there. But with the open shoulders, if you go in with the open shoulders, you have to practice and master your axle to do it from the skid. If you're done master yet and don't know yet how to do the proper skid on a double axle, you better to go just from your age. In this way, you need to keep your shoulder in the front. Well, anyway, I would like to tell you that it is better to keep your left shoulder a little bit in the front, even while you are doing the jump from the ski. But 
if your shoulders are open, it is a little bit easier to get high. But if your shoulder in the front, it's easier to control your jump. Maybe your jump will be less high, but it's easier to control your jump. And also, you can be faster in your jump. So now coming back again to our arms. So arms are bended, they're not going in here, but they also not go in here. You have to find a golden middle in this. So my suggestion is you can put your fingers like that and put it to your hip. And this is exactly the way where your right arm have to go, yeah? It shouldn't go like that, it shouldn't go like that. This is exactly the direction while it's going. Also next thing, well, there is many skaters, especially girls. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the idea of that, but they're going before the single uh, double, uh, well, I haven't seen the persons that are doing triple axel that way, with the left arm open in the front, like that. I don't know exactly what is this technique about. I have never jumped like that. And as I say, I have never seen the people that jump triple axel like that. So, I prefer you to have your um, left arm also behind you, a little bit behind you. It's going to my um, hips. They shouldn't be straight, because if you will straight your arms, your body will go and lean forward. You have to keep it bended a little bit like that, okay? You have to pretend that your arms kind of a trigger on a gun. So, it going like, bam! You got it? You have to be nice, fast, and sharp moves. Bam! In the beginning, you don't have to rush in the axle. You shouldn't go for your double axle and do it like that. Okay? You have to take your time, be nice and smooth, like one, two. Now I just count for you, one, two. Pretty much in all of the jumps, we have to count, and we need to count, especially for the axle, because axle is one of the most difficult jumps in the figure skating. So, please don't jump, you have to find a golden middle in your timing of jumping. You shouldn't go very fast, like one, two, and you shouldn't go very slow, like one, two, because if you're gonna rush and if you're gonna be very fast in the beginning, you will jump straight. It will be, your jump will go straight away. And you will don't have opportunity to gain the high and start good rotation. Because we need in single axle, double axle, we have to go more to the center, almost backwards. Like, you have to try that. You need to learn in the beginning your single axle, double axle, and maybe triple axle. In the beginning, I would say from the spot. You just take in the spot and start doing the jump from the spot. Wild jump, single axle, double axle from the spot. While you go farther, you will need to start gaining the speed a little bit, step by step. You're gonna ask me, well, dude, this way jump gonna, won't be looks nice. It will be, because in the beginning you will find out how to jump inside of the circle. Because in here you can see that I'm jumping pretty much almost opposite side, opposite way. But while you're gonna gain the speed, anyway, you're gonna have very nice and beautiful direction of that. You're not gonna go straight exactly, but you will still will have this control to go on your edge and of the way you're gliding to it. Now guys, I would like to talk with you about your head position. You shouldn't look down to the eyes, because if you're gonna look down to the eyes, your body gonna follow that, and you will go forward, you will lean forward. So, your chin should be up, okay? And you better um, to watch like 10 meters up of the eyes, okay? So, my eyes, I'm watching far up, okay? This is exactly the way where I have to get. This is my goal, this is my high of my jump. Also, I would like to tell you uh, about my free leg. The free leg, as I said, our arms as a trigger. And my 
leg, free leg, also is my trigger. And trigger are bended, it's not straight like, yeah? It's bended, so your free leg before the jump have to be bended as well. In this way you will have easier way to get high. Uh, also, I would like to tell you that uh, we have to pretend that we are walking like that. And our right arm and right leg have to move exactly together. Exactly. It shouldn't be like in the beginning, right arm are moving and then right leg falling it. Or right leg are going like that and right arm are following it. We just need to go together to it. You get it? That was the main ideas. Now you guys can go to the section of exercises about single double axle, triple axle, and I will open you more secrets how to get your right position before the jump, how to work with your arms, legs, and ways how to go for your beautiful single axle, double axle that you will have in your future. Thank you for watching. See you next videos.